Hi everyone, Claire here with one of my latest projects I've been working on. Um, it's a little book in a box, or my beach chest as I call it. Um, really nice little project made out of 8x8 on the boardwalk papers by Graphic 45. And then I've added some detail um, to bling it up a little bit. But what I started off with was just a paper mache box, or chest. I painted it in white gesso and then covered it in um, the acrylic dabber espresso just to give the brown edges. I wanted it to look like a treasure chest and then sprayed that with the Cosmic Shimmer Mist in, let me just check the colour, bronze blush and that just gave it, um, where's the front of it, a little bit of sparkle and then I cut the papers out and stuck them on side by side and then the detail at the bottom here I used the EK Success large swirl punch, I don't know if you can see that um, because I wanted to give it a, a sort of sea surfy feel to the front of the box well all round actually let me show you and because the top and bottom are raised I thought that gave a nice sort of beach-like feel or surfy like feel to the box because the papers are all about um, on the beach, Coney Island and on the boardwalk. I put some Tim Holtz metal feet on just to raise it up and then I cut um, one of the hardware findings out of some chipboard and then just put a paper fastener through and put that on the front as the clasp. So let me show you what I did inside. I don't know if you can see it all. I used the Signature Series Graphic 45 papers in the blue. Um, you can sand them or do all sorts with them, they're absolutely fantastic. So what I did on the inside of the box was cut the paper to fit the lid out of the Signature Series um, colour called cardstock and then I embossed it and sanded it just to give some detail to the inside of the box and then I edged it with the stripy paper if you can see and then I did the same with the, the book as well here's the little album which I'll take you through in a minute let me just take it out And then the inside of the box I did the same. I lined it with the blue paper and then edged it in the stripy paper. Um, I just cut the top um, with a little um, flower punch just to give some detail around the top here. And then um, cut some really fine strips of the stripe and put those all around the edges and the corners. You can see. And then I wanted to attach a ribbon to the bottom which I did um, just with a strip of the stripy paper again, just so that the album stayed in the box. So that's the inside of the box, or the chest. There it is. So if I shut that up and move that out of the way. Here's the little album that sits inside it. Really tiny album. It's five and a half by three and a half album. If you want to know how to make it, then just check out my um, YouTube channel. It's the Let's Make Series 4, How to Make a Ribbon Bound Album. So here's a little album. Lots in it, uh, but really teeny weeny. And then I did a glitter bound spine and just put some ribbon around it to give it some detail. And the glitter is the turquoise stickles. And then I also covered it in the same paper that I'd used for the inside of the box and embossed it as well. So the front and back are covered with that blue um, colour called cardstock. And then, as I say, I used the 8x8 papers to make the album. I cut quite a few little details out of various sheets and put them all together, but I wanted to keep the front quite flat because it had to fit in the box. Um, 
and then I just put some glossy accents on the two girls playing volleyball and on the stamp as well. So let's put it down, zoom in a bit. Is that too far? Okay, so that was the first page, or the cover. Inside all my albums I like to be able to put photographs, standard size photos. So here we are, little photo mat slotted behind that picture there. I've just cut this um, the wording out and raised it up on some pop dots. And then I've used some Graphic 45 ribbon as well, all the way through, just to give some extra detail to the book. I've used one of the labels here, just put a bit of ribbon through, used it as a pocket in the corner, and then there's a couple of little photo mats in here. And that one I just used became one of the cutouts. And there's room for photos, three by two, three by two photos in this one. Love this page. I've used the black ribbon. I've cut some Martha Stewart butterflies out um, and just made a tag out of that cut out there. And then I've embossed a butterfly on the back of this photo mat and used the little round tab from the Tiny Tabs and Tags die. Tim Holtz one on there. Poking back in. This page was quite interesting. I've used a couple of magnets, one to hold this shut and then one to hold it shut at the top as well so it didn't flop forwards. So there's room for photos in there. I've cut some of the um, pictures out from the paper and then there's room for another photograph on the back, if you can see that. And then it just fastens shut. On the next page I cut the, the guys out in their swimsuits. I really like that. Um, and then just cut another of the um, circles out of the paper. There's some graphic 45 ribbon and there's a little photo mat in there with a postcard on it. And then just slots for a photo on the back. This page I've used the lady with the swimsuit as the pocket and there's just a little tag I've made there from one of the cutouts. Raise the wording up on some pop dots and then uh, there's another little photo mat there that just slots in over that page. It does slot in. I've had great fun making this. I think I like making small albums. I'm going to make some more. Um, made a pocket out of the paper again. I've just cut some of the pictures out of the paper and raised them up and then uh, raised the tag there up on some pop dots and tied it with some ribbon. And then there's just a little tag in here for some journaling. This page, it was hard to choose actually. I just love all of this paper. It was really nice. There's a graphic 45 button there. I've made a pocket out of the um, backing paper and then just put the photograph on and then there's a little photo mat in here. It's just a plain one with a picture on the front. And then this one I did some embossing on it and then just room for a photo on the back. And they fit inside there. It's not easy to do this upside down. Next little page, quite simple. I've used the large swirl punch again just to give the swirly effect along the bottom there and then made a pocket out of the paper, put another embellishment over the front and then used the tag there with some graphic 45 ribbon in the top as the tab on the one side and then just room for a photo on the back on the other. 
again I've used one of the photographs as a pocket and then I've made a couple of photo mats here, one with one of the pictures on and this one I used a tag again, put some ribbon through the top, did a bit of masking here with the swirls and then just room for a photo on the back. Next page, another couple of photo mats. There's two pockets here actually. There's the back one and then there's one here behind the, um, the boxes. And she moves out. So you can see them a bit of graphic 45 ribbon in there as well. And then two photo mats. One with just a photo one. And that one's just plain for journaling. That sits behind there. This page is a pull-out page. I really wanted to get um, the lady in, in her swimsuit. And there's a little tag down here with another little picture in as well. Let's just move that up. That just fits in the little pocket at the bottom. And then it closes like that. And then there's a tag underneath. I really wanted to get the mermaid in. Love the mermaid. And then just journaling spot on the back of there. It just fits underneath there. I've got all the pictures of the beach scenes and just layered them up. So there's... Oh, that's a pocket. It's a while since I did this. I can't remember what I've done. It's just a little tag. Oh, I love the flamingo. Wanted to get the flamingo in. So made a little tag out of him. And then there's room for a photo on the back there. So again, there's a couple of pockets. There's one at the back, and then there's one over the back one. And I just layered all the pieces up and stuck them down. And last but not least, I wanted to get the ladies in, in their swimsuits. So I um, cut the photograph out, laid it over the page, but I wanted it to flip over. So I've got room for a tag just behind here. And then I've put a little tab and a magnet there. That flips over. And there's a photograph on the back here of another bathing beauty. And then there's a couple of tags here, one behind the fish, and then one larger one that holds a little tag there. And then it flips back and it shuts with a magnet. There's a little bit of graphic 45 ribbon at the bottom and a little bit up there as well. And that was it. That was my little book in a box. So I hope you like it. Let's just drop it back in this box. Zoom out again. It just fits quite neatly inside. Inside there. Tie the ribbon back up. And shut the lid. And thanks very much for watching.